Next on Images e Imágenes, the beauty, pageantry, and proud tradition of the Spanish flamenco. Saludos, I'm Miguel Perez. Webster's Dictionary defines it as a Spanish dance to guitar music. But flamenco is so much more than that. It's the essence of a culture, the history of a nation, the majestic beauty of an exquisite art form. Today we are privileged to have with us the Alborada Spanish Dance Theater. This New Jersey-based company has been nationally recognized by the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. The 17-member troupe under the direction of Eva Lucena embraces the folk arts of Spain with theatrical presentations, elaborate costumes, and an authentic repertoire of flamenco that features some of the best performers in the world. Among them is the master of masters in flamenco, Jesus Cano, and the outstanding performer, Lisa Botalico.
We are now joined by Eva Lucena, who is the proud director and co-founder of the Alborada Spanish Dance Theater. Welcome to the program. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. It's so wonderful to be here. Tell us about the origin of flamenco. Where does it come from? Flamenco is a mixture of Moorish, Andalusian, and Gypsy. And the Gypsies came from India. And they took two routes. One through the south and through Egypt into southern Spain. And the other route went through the north into Hungary and France. And they came through about a thousand years ago into Egypt, stayed there for a few hundred years, and came up through the south of Spain into Granada, then dispersed throughout the caves. They lived a lot in caves for many years. Now, one of the main ingredients of the flamenco is the castanets. Was it always there? When did they come into the picture? Uh, for, uh, castanets were not brought in the picture until about a hundred years ago, because in those days the gypsies didn't have even the guitar. They used their fingers, they used their arms, they used their upper body. And that's why I want to sh have Chavela show you a little bit of the castanets, but also the upper body. Well, let's this have Chavela Ch show us. Chavela is one of the principal dancers of my company, and she's also going to be participating in the Met production, Metropolitan Opera production of Carmen this year. Show us how the uh, castanets work, Chavela. One is the female is on the right side, and this is the male. The female does all the rhythm, the, male do, the, the female does all the um, trilling, and the male is the rhythm part. And also note the upper body and the arms. The arms are from Moorish and from Indian descent. Mm -hmm. Now tell me about the significance of the footwork, especially in the male dancer. That's a macho thing. Every Spanish male dancer absolutely has to have great footwork, otherwise he's not considered a great dancer. And no better than demonstrating is Jesus Cano, uh, a resident guest artist. Jesus, enséñame cómo trabajan los pies de un bailarín. Si lo dejamos bailar el día entero. Sí, sí, claro. <laughs> he wanted to go on, didn't he? he, he, he Ta hacer lo tell tiempo. us about the shows and the fans, the bueno. significance about the costumes that you wear. All you see on the fans, you can understand, this is a flirtatious. A man gave a woman a fan, it was an intimate gift. The fans came in about 200 years ago, and they were picked up from the Cuban influence when Spain went into the Americas. And they brought back and incorporated into their dances. And that's very flirtatious. You have a very beautiful shawl. On. Yes. So tell me about that. These shawls come from, most of them come from Manila in the Philippines. They're called Mantones de Manila. And they came into Spain about in the 18th century. They were used as decorative pieces. Then the women started wearing them around their shoulders. And then, again, because of the influences from the Americas, they became part of the dance form. So now you do you use it when you're dancing and it actually uh, certain adds in, certain things yes, to the dance? Yes, certain dances from the south of Spain, such as caracoles, guajiras, which have a Cuban and uh, sounding name, we use shawls and fans. See, and we're going to demonstrate in a little while. And what is the next dance we're going to see? Caracoles. Tell which me means about caracoles. What does that mean? Seashells? It's a spiral because it's a, you'll see the movements of what we do. It's very spirally, the way we sort of do all the movements. And this is brought back from the influence from the con conquistadores. Before we take a look at the caracoles on stage, let's see a small sampling on this Andalusian dance on video. <laughs>
We are now joined by two of the best flamenco dancers in the world, Lisa Botalico, who came here directly from Spain, and the maestro, Jesus Cano. Welcome to the program. It's a pleasure having you here. Uh, Lisa, let's start with you. How does, how does this flamenco tradition, culture, dance, music uh, influence your life? Well, flamenco takes over your life. If you let it into your life, it takes over, and it allows you a wonderful expression of pride and uh, pain, suffering, and happiness also. It encompasses everything that your life has. So it's a way for you to express what's going on in your life At as that well? moment, at that very moment. Mm -hmm. What's happening on stage and in your life. And let me turn to Spanish here and talk to Jesus a little bit. Jesus, tell me, dime, eh, tú has viajado por el mundo entero, representando esa gran cultura que es el flamenco. ¿Qué significa para ti traer esa cultura a los Estados Unidos? Para mí sí, significa, es un valor muy importante que nosotros tenemos con la danza española llevando la cultura por todas las partes del mundo, porque la palabra eh, danza española flamenco es misterio, es duende, es vida, porque okay. la vida es el baile y no se puede vivir sin bailar. Let me try to translate that. It's a long translation, but he, I basically asked him what it means for him to have traveled all over the world and to be bringing this Spanish flamenco culture to the United States. And he told me it's a great step because Flamenco is life, is yeah. everything. Es eh, eh, todo para él, es everything for him. And so to introduce, he basically is telling me that he's an ambassador of Spanish culture, in, not only throughout the whole world, but especially now in the United States. Qua, how does it, what does it mean to you, Lisa, to be performing here in this country and be bringing Spanish? There are a lot of Hispanic people here, as you know, hay muchos hispanos en este país. Sí. ¿Qué sí. significa sí. para ti traer esa cultura a los hispanos de este país? Significa mucho traer sobre todo la cultura, la raíz de la danza española, porque el arte español nunca se puede, se puede ol, olvidar. Y para mí es muy importante estar con la danza, con el flamenco, a todos los hispanos. You tell me what he said in okay. English. Well, for me, uh -huh. Spanish dance is so important to bring to the young people because they need to learn about this beautiful culture. And with Alborada Latina, we have that uh, wonderful opportunity to, to bring culture to the schools and to the young people growing up. So they Jesus, don't Jesus also mentioned that he, it's important for him to bring flamenco tradition to Latinos in the United yes. States. So he's, yeah. he's actually crossing that bridge not only to the American people in the United States, but also to remind Latinos what their roots are all exactly. about. And he mentioned roots. It's very important to preserve those Spanish roots. It's a pleasure yes. having you here. Thank it's you. really wonderful to see uh, our culture expressed the way you people express it. It's, it's really a wonderful thing. We have two of the best guitar the, uh, musicians, flamenco, it's also very important we should point oh. out, those two people behind us are very important to flamenco. Tell us about the importance of the, the guitarist and the singer to the flamenco we music. We dance to them, they inspire us on the moment. We are singing, we are dancing to the cante, to the singing and to the guitar playing. They mean everything to the dancer. And regardless of how good they are or if they're good, you can do it better. You do it better. So it really takes a good guitarist and a good singer for Absolutely. you to really show your it's, best it's stuff. It's the three. It's the three together. And everything works together. Yes. And today we should mention that we have two of the best in our area, Carlos Rebollar is on the guitar and singer Maria de Jerez. Thank you for being here with us. We appreciate it. Uh, if you want to know more about flamenco, uh, you could, should contact uh, the Alborada Spanish Dance Theater in East Brunswick, New Jersey at 732-631-613-4513. And don't forget, to watch shows at Images Imágenes on the website, www.njlatinos.com. We leave you with more exciting flamenco music and dance by the New Jersey's own Alborada Spanish Dance Theater. Hasta pronto.
noche ha cantado con esta guitarra y que va calando en la madrugada. 